as uh, uh, Anuj uh, told you before going to the break, down 16% uh, that stock. Very disappointing numbers. Uh, Anisha is here back with us to tell us uh, uh, a little more about the numbers. Uh, Anisha, uh, it's not just revenues, just about across the board, isn't it? Well, yes, the revenues are down 45%, profit is down and what is more uh, disappointing is the management commentary coming in which is very, very cautious. The management is clearly calling it a disruption in the industry and they are signaling that the next four to six months are going to be diffi difficult for the industry and Inox wins specifically. Remember, Suzlon also works in the same area but the good part is that Suzlon is a bit insulated because they had a lot of PPA signed up which was not the case with Inox win and clearly it's coming under pressure. Now to give, a, uh, give the viewers a few of the reasons why the stock is coming and the pressure and the results were so bad. First of all, after the competitive bidding came out through, the states have stopped signing PPA. That means that all the states are now looking to renegotiate the tariff and nobody is ready to give the tariff at the feed-in tariff that happened earlier. Remember, after the competitive bidding, the tariffs have come down by 20-30%. Now, that means for Inox, when the customers are not ready to take deliveries, and that is going to put further pressure on their order book as well as rece receivables. Remember, their order book was ranging in a, of over 1 gigawatt through the last 4-6 quarters and suddenly it has dropped to just 300 megawatt or 0.3 gigawatt and that gives you very limited revenue visibility for the coming quarters. So the management is clearly saying the next four to six uh, months are going to be difficult and more, uh, moreover the revenues beyond 3Q which is quarter 3 FI18 is also dependent on how much order info they can get post that. Even if they get order infos, margins will come under pressure because we know in the competitive bidding the tariff is 20-30% lower so then comes a further hit on the margins and the core uh, networking capital uh, remains uh, elevated and th there is a risk of a write down in terms of debtors with the customers not ready to pay up their numbers. In fact, for example, Ambit has cut down their estimates and they're expecting a loss to be given by Inox when in FI18 and they're factoring in a 100 crore of write off on account of debtors. Remember, management stake also currently is 85% and by the norms it has to come down to 75%. So there's another overhang of the, you know, management dilution of the promoter dilution coming in. 63% is held by a good Floor, so that also is another factor. In terms of the brokerage action, mostly all the brokerages have cut down their estimates, earnings estimate by over 40%. In fact, Ambit, as I mentioned, is expecting a loss. They have a sell call on the stock with the target price of 143, signaling a 30% downtick. And I'm re not really surprised by the downtick we have uh, seen today. It was expected to be as bad. I'm not, I won't be surprised if it goes down to even 20% today. Mm -hmm.